Hey everybody, this is Dolores McGahai, and you can definitely start connecting and following with me. I uh, got a blog up and running, which is DoloresMcGahaiBlog.com, and I'm going to be giving you a lot of valuable tips and giving you some uploads and stuff that you can follow through with, including some motivating and some, um, some uplifting and some encouraging words. This video is about how to start a business, okay? Because you want to make sure that you start off the correct way. The first thing that you want to do is go down. Before you go there, go to the uh, IRS.gov. Even if you got the call or do it online, get you an EIN number or what business name that you want to do business in, okay? Get you an EIN number. The IRS will give you an EIN number. Either you can do it online or you can do it over the phone. They'll mail you a piece of paper with your EIN number on it, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me, you all. Once you have your EIN number, then you want to go until you can, as you build your business, you want to go down to the local courthouse, county courthouse that you reside in. And you want to go in there to the department. Just tell them you want to do a DBA, which stands for doing business as. And um, you want to do a piece of paper filling out your name and the name of the business or however you're going to be doing business as because that's what that stands for. You're doing business as that company, okay? You're representing that company. And that's going to cost you from $25 to $45. And go ahead and fill out the paperwork and that's send you a copy of it back and it's got the nice big state seal on it, okay? And that DBA that you just register in the records of the county that you reside in, because now it became a documentation with a legal number on it, now you can do business as in that company name, and you also have the EIN number, okay? With that piece of paper, now you can go down to the local bank, and now you can open up a bank account for that business, okay? So now it's in the business name, and now your name is on it. So you won't have no problem making deposits. You won't have no problem doing withdrawal the whole nine yards, okay? Now, I'm not going into the detail about all the other stuff, how to get the members of the boards and all that stuff. Google it, search it up. Yes, you do have to do some paperwork because now you are going to want to go get your business registered in the state that you reside in, Okay? And um, <clears throat> it's easy to do, but find someone that's already been there, done that, or find someone that has copies that you can do. And matter of fact, I'm going to be honest with you all, I have a copy myself that I would be glad to um, help you, okay? And stuff does cost money, okay? So if it's something that you are really, really interested in, get with me so that you can get your business registered in the state that you reside in and that way you have been identified and recognized as a legal and a legit business in operation okay so everybody this is Dolores that is my value that I'm giving to you today and tips that I'm giving to you today get yourself operating and function as a business when you're operating and functioning as a business, regardless if it's you solo by yourself or if you're working with a group or a team member or, or organization, get yourself legally registered in the county that you reside in and also in the state that you reside in so that you don't have to worry about anything coming back to bite you, okay? Because remember, it's not the people that's actually on your team that's against you. It's the people that's already on your team that you've constantly been letting them get up here in your ear that's more against you than for you, and you could be missing out on some opportunity. So everybody, this is Dolores. That's my tip for today.